Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Thanks so much for hopping on another fun planner video with me today. So today's video is part two of getting my planner ready for Go Wild. Today I will be sharing with you a DIY cover for this mini happy planner. So if you guys wanna check out this video, then keep on watching. So welcome back planners. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional. And today we're gonna try to make a cover for this mini happy planner. Um, I've done this in the past. Um, I think I have a video up. I will try to put a playlist um, for you guys so it's easier to find. But um, essentially what I wanna do is put together a clear uh, cover and adding glitter to it. <laughs> It is kind of tricky, but it can be done. Um, I'm not the best at um, cutting it down and everything, but I'm gonna try my best to share with you on how I do this. So before I get started, let me just share a quick example of what I mean. So if you didn't check out this video, I shared with you on how to make this cute little shaker for your planner. Um, but this is a mini happy planner that I have and in here I have made little clear dashboards. This one just has stickers. Um, this one has glitter in the inside when I laminated it and then I added bling stickers to the front. And then here's one for the fall. Again, um, I think I have a video on this planner like a flip through or something. So. That's what I want to achieve is um, laminating a cover that has these two glitters in it. And then I would like to add these stickers that I've been saving. I just have them placed in here on some of, of the backing, the sticker backing, so it'll stick. So I want to use these as my cover because those are the only go wild like things that I have. I'm kind of waiting for Go Wild to see what I um, can buy there or whatever. And I just don't want to have too much stuff and I just wanted to use what I had. Um, but definitely check this video out. Um, I shared how I made that. But what I do is, um, so I have a eight and a half by 11 laminating sheets. And then I take a mini Happy Planner cover as my template. And then I kind of just mark where I want to place my glitter. So I will just take a dry erase marker so I can, you know, take that off easily. And then I will mark around uh, this template here. So that way I know to sprinkle in the glitter just in the center portion. That's kind of, that's all that I want to do. <laughs> and then I will cut it out to size of the mini happy planner. So I just take one of these, um, it's the Scotch brand laminator. I got mine from either Walmart or Target. And this is the eight and a half by 11 sheets. And so I open this up and I, um, you wanna make sure your surface is clean. Like for me, I definitely need to do that because I have, a, I have two cats and my desk gets really, really dirty. And I mean, once you close these pages, you can't go back, you'll have cat hair in there. Um, and then what I like to do is, uh, well, what I have to do is I have my laminator behind me. So because this is so flimsy, you'll want to have something um, stable underneath it um, because, I mean, you could carry it like this and maybe put two binder clips on each side, but I usually take a clipboard. Okay, so I have my template laid out and I kind of get it closer to the edge here. So when I go to punch it, I don't have to worry about like cut it, cutting the, um, the cover out from the center of the page. I can just, I think it's just better on this side. So um, now I can add my glitter and make sure these are okay. Let me grab a straw. Okay, so I have some tools here to see if it'll help me <laughs> do this. I've done this before, but it's, it's been a while. You know, if you don't do it all the time, it, it takes practice kind of a thing. So I have a straw here that I've cut at an angle um, to just scoop the glitter out, or you can use a spoon. Okay, where are my, my opening? I guess it's on the other side. Okay, hold on. 
Let me find my opening here. Okay, here's my opening. Oh my gosh. Okay, also, I, I know that I can keep it in between this color here of green, blue, and pink will help me as well. So I'm just sharing how I would do this, guys. I'm not a pro. I just like to play with my crafty things and see what works. I've tested this out before. Obviously, I shared, you, shared with you an example. But now I'm scooping with my left hand and it's making me a little nervous because I'm not a lefty. But this straw really helps to um, dip in here and add this in here. What you want to be aware of, though, is trying to get the air bubbles once you um, go to lay this flat in the machine. That's why I kind of use the clipboard to help me. Yeah, I was just playing with my... You kind of want to lay these flat. The stars here are a little bit thicker, they're, so they're not as fine as the glitter. But, um, yeah, I was just playing with my stuff, and I was just like, oh, I wonder what this would look like if I added glitter to these laminated sheets. When it melts down in the machine, it looks really cool. Especially if you mix colors. But again, make sure when you line up your sheets to put in the machine that they're straight and you kind of get the air bubbles out. That's the tricky part because it is a little thick. You just want to keep your sheets as lined up together as possible. You go and place that in there. I feel like I need more. Oh, oh my gosh, I just spilled that. Okay, I think I have enough. We're gonna go test this out. I'm gonna take it to my laminator. And again, um, make sure you put in the closed side first and the up. So make sure you put in your closed, this section here is closed off, but your opening goes in last. Hopefully that makes sense. So you're gonna place it your laminator in this way. Okay, so here is the first one. You can see that it's not a lot of glitter here in this area. So I decided for my second cover or for the back cover that I would add a lot more glitter. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll use this for the back or maybe I will try it again. But you can see this is definitely trial and error, but you guys kind of get the idea of the technique. Um, and this time, instead of using the straw, I decided to open it up just a little bit and just glide back and forth really slowly and add a little bit of that glitter in a slow motion. I mean, you can, again, you can play with this. If you keep the sheets together and you can like um, tap it around if you want it a certain way, but you can definitely just open it up and use your finger um, or maybe a brush or something, but I think it's, it's good. I think I have enough glitter. We're gonna see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go take this to the laminator Okay, so I want to be honest with you guys. So I tried it and no go. So there was way too much glitter in it and it pushed it all the way up to the edge and it didn't seal it. So don't put too much in it. So I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, so I have my front and back cover. I hope these come out okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and punch them. Okay, I haven't punched them out, but I want I wanted you guys to get an idea of what it would look like. And I like that... Okay, so this is the dry erase board, right? For the template to um, visually give me an idea of where to cut. And I decided to cut um, right at the edge of the black line, so not on it. So that way I made sure I had cushion and I didn't mess up um, the size of the mini happy planner. I mean, I know you can, you can get the measurements and things like that, um, but... 
this is just how I, my brain works and this is how I wanted to cut the covers out. So again, I just left that mark there so I could cut around it in case I messed up. Um, but wouldn't this be cool if it did have this black line? Like I love the look of that. So if I, I don't know if you've ever tried this with lamination, but maybe you could stitch. I don't know if this could run through a sewing machine. Probably not. It'd probably break it. Don't listen to me, <laughs> but <laughs> I just love that black outlining on this dashboard. That looks really cool. It's very 80s. So this will be the back side on this side, which is backwards, but it's fine. I'll just punch it on this side. Yeah, that one didn't come out as good as this one, but it's okay. Again, my idea is to add those stickers on the front. So this was just kind of like a background. Alrighty friends, here's my cover, super cute. Now I kind of messed up again, but this is what I was trying to envision um, how I wanted this to look. So I'm glad the front cover turned out really good. Um, the back cover, however, I'm just gonna redo this because you wanna know what happened. So what happened was, <laughs> I forgot I purchased the new handheld um, disc punch. This is by We Are Memory Keepers. I totally forgot I just got that. So I, you know, was kind of rushing it and I used my big um, Happy Planner punch and I lined it up without looking at where I marked it. So that's all that happened really was um, I didn't mark it in the center. I started off at the very top. So it, it's not punched right. You see, it's I punched it at the very top, and so I have this extra um, hangover down here. So, anywho, now that I know that I can accomplish it or complete it, <laughs> I'm going to try it again. But um, if I can share, like, a finished product, um, I will put a photo at the end of the video. But that's all I have time for today, but at least I got the front cover done. And um, I still have these Happy Planner covers in here that I was using just to keep it together. But I wanted to show you what this looked like because this is clear over something. Um, so that's what it looks like over the rainbow um, cover. And then if you decide, if, if you decide to do something like this, it's always fun to think about, you know, the layering and setting it up because because this is clear, it changes the whole look of it. So if you have like um, a, if you made your own cover um, out of cardstock paper, that's the right size. This is actually a, I think this is kind of like a postcard size. So this is from Lights Planner Action. It came with my order when I bought the inserts and it says, hey, I heard you were a wild one. So I wanted to keep this and I added some paper on the back side because it, it was a, um, just a little intro to her shop and it had like the insert sizes and things. So I just wanted to keep this cover and I covered that with scrapbook paper, but you can see it's not the size of a happy planner. So um, if I left it like that, you'll see some stuff peeking on the top there, but I could make another cover. I haven't decided yet. You guys will see a full flip through on how this will look, but here's that shaker that I made. And then the two stickers, or the couple stickers I have left, I'm gonna add these to the back side once I finish the cover. But at least you guys get an idea of how I wanted to uh, make my own cover for this mini happy planner. Um, and I did use the 5mm, so um, it would be a little bit thicker, but I think it's so cute, I love it. I do like the black on the background. But if I had this in the front, because this is the Happy Planner size, because it covers that card there, it kind of looks a little bit better. But maybe I'll have to add like a white piece of paper so I can just get an idea. Of course, this is smaller too of how I want it to look. If I want to use white or black cardstock paper I, I can put in there, but I'm just gonna put this cover back in there for now as well. 
And so stay tuned for the Q&A. We're going to um, color some of these inserts together and I'll answer some of your all's questions. But let me know what you guys think. Is it cute? I think it's cute. I love it. I will fix the backside um, later. But thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and getting prepped for Go Wild and just setting up this mini happy planner and playing with the covers and stickers. So I will see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye. Okay, I ran in my fourth sheet that I tried to make these covers for my Go Wild planner. And again, this is such a fun technique. It is trial and error and you just have to play with it. You don't have to, um, and don't worry about being um, a perfectionist or getting glitter everywhere. That's what uh, lint rollers are for, but um, I finally got it down. So I was just taking the glitter and going back and forth really slowly and I made sure I stayed in my template. And then remember um, using a clipboard kind of helps with sliding it in straight and make sure the opening is the last part, if that makes any sense. So you're gonna have the opening here and just feed it through the laminator with the closed end first.